the St. George's Animal Hospital in Carlton, Sydney today for Creature Corner guys and we're going to be checking out the vets and what they get up to. Very exciting stories ahead so stay tuned. Let's get started. Hamish is one of the vets at the St. George's Animal Hospital and he's going to be chatting to us today. Welcome to the program Hamish. Thanks, Thanks. for talking to us. No problem. How long have you been a vet here? Um, I've been a bit here since sort of late March, so okay. three or four months. Now we're going to be following you around today, if that's okay. Oh, that's no problem. <laughs> um, who have we got over here? Um, so this is Ben, one of our other vets here, and he's, yeah. he's actually just doing a, a dental. Obviously dental disease is, is a big problem in dogs and cats. Unlike people, they can't, um, they can't open wide and just let us do their teeth, so they have to actually have a, a complete anaesthetic. Right, okay. um, and Ben's um, doing a scale and polish there and, um, and removing any teeth that need to come out. Okay. She's, she's had um, something called pancreatitis. Oh, okay. So this is where they get an inflamed pancreas. But typically, the, what we think sort of sparks it off is um, sometimes a bit of a change in diet, something a bit too fatty. Okay. And um, basically all you see really is vomiting and diarrhoea. Okay. And they've got a very, very tender abdomen because their pancreas, which is joined to their small intestine, mm -hmm. is quite uh, inflamed. No food, no water. And we just put her on a drip here to provide her with some um, fluids. And typically that pancreas just settles itself down. Okay, and how long would she have to be on the drip for? Well, it depends on how well they do. So today, actually, she, she came in yesterday. Um, today we're offering her water, and if she goes well, she doesn't vomit or anything like that, then we'll start offering her food. As soon as she's eating, we take her off the drip. I like her nice little pink. Oh, is yeah. that for her drip, is That's it? That's right, yeah. yeah. Who's this here? So this little guy's name is Hector. Yeah. He came in last night. I was in a battle even the top last night seeing Hector because he... Um, he had a bit of a tumble yesterday and wasn't oh, able right. to, to walk very well. So he can walk okay on his front legs. He's alright little man, he's okay. He can walk okay on his front legs, but yeah. his, both of his back legs are very, very sore. Okay. And he's done quite a common um, injury to himself. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's a ruptured cruciate ligament. The sort of thing you see in footballers and, yeah. and actually yeah. quite athletic dogs. Um, he's likely to make a, a pretty good recovery, but the problem is, is they can actually develop arthritis as a result Sorry. of that inflammation in the joint as well. Uh, about to buzz in on an operation that's about to happen. This is Michael. He's going to be chatting to us. That's his little cat at the moment. Tell us a bit about what's going on, Michael. Right, this is uh, Samantha. She's one of the pound animals yeah. just down the back. Um, she's in today to be desexed, basically. Okay. So we're just about right. to anesthetize her. Okay. Um, so... It, She's had a, a pre-med, which is a light sedative, but which we give to most animals before an operation. It mm -hmm. just calms them down, lowers the requirement for the amount of anaesthetic we need to give. Okay. Um, so she's had that. She's ultra-friendly because of that. You can see she's all over the place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next stage is actually to give the anaesthetic into the vein, so she becomes nice and sleepy. Fantastic. The sterile theatre, which we have just through those doors, mm. is, yeah. uh, is basically ideal for this kind of thing. You know, keep the dirt to a minimum. Yeah. Um, yeah. She'll, be, uh, she'll come around within, you know, 20 minutes, she'll be up and about within an hour or two, um, and she'll be ready to come that evening. So, okay, yeah, fantastic. Really quick. Very quick and very simple and yeah. very routine for us. We do it on a daily yeah. basis, so um, yeah, not a problem. How many would you de sex a day? Um, I guess on average, you know, as an individual, that I guess you're going to de sex probably three, four animals a day. I don't think you'd find anything like this in my fridge. I think I'll leave it to the professionals. It's time for the pet of the week. Let's see who's going to steal your heart away. Romeo is our pet of the week today, guys. He's a beautiful ginger long-haired kitty and is just desperate for a home. He's a lover and not a fighter, as his name suggests, and is just so cuddly and warm. 9587-9611 is the number to call if you want to meet Romeo here or any of the other kitties at the Sydney Cats and Dogs Home. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you again next time. Take care.